Today we'll be starting chemistry. You'll need to go get some supplies. You'll need a pair of scissors and you'll need a piece of aluminum foil or paper. It needs to be about this big. You can pause this video while you go get your supplies. So you're going to need a piece of aluminum foil or paper that's about this big. And the first thing we need to do is look at its properties. So we're going to notice what it looks like, what it feels like. Is it shiny? Is it smooth? Does it have a smell? Mine doesn't. The color is kind of silvery. It's very flat. Not very heavy. Those are all the properties that we notice. Next, we're going to cut it in half. We have two halves. We're going to keep one close to us. We're going to put the other half away. We don't need that one. Now that we have half, we're going to check the properties again. Is it the same color? Is it still shiny? The properties are the same. Let's cut it in half again. So we're cutting our half and half. So now we have fourths. We're going to keep one fourth and put the other fourth away. We don't need that. We only need one fourth. Let's check the properties again. Still shiny, still silvery colored, same properties. We're going to cut it in half again. We're cutting our fourth in half, so we're left with an eighth. Let's check the properties again. Still shiny, still same color, same properties. Let's keep doing that. Keep cutting in half. This is an eighth. I'm cutting my eighth in half. I'm keeping a sixteenth. Checking the properties, they're the same. Cutting our sixteenth and half. One thirty second of what we started with. Check the properties, same color, same properties. Keep cutting, keep checking the properties. Keep a half each time. Keep cutting until the piece is so small that you cannot cut it any. pause this video you can. Okay, don't lose it. <laughs> it's very small. Let's check the properties one more time. Same color, still shiny, same properties. Now I need you to imagine that we have a very special tool, the sharpest knife in the universe, and we can cut this tiny piece even more. We're going to cut it in half again and again and again with this super knife until the pieces are so small that we can't even see them anymore. <clears throat> At some point, after we keep checking the properties, we're going to notice that the properties do change. We have a special name for the last bit before the properties change. So if you keep on cutting and cutting and cutting, and you get to a point where the next cut would mean a change in properties, we have a special name for that one last piece. We take the Greek word for cuttable, which is tom. We put a in front of it to make it not cuttable, and we end up with a-t-o-m, atom. An atom is a tiny, tiny, tiny piece of matter. It's the last piece you can have, the tiniest piece you can have, while still keeping the same properties. And if you cut it anymore, the properties will change. And atoms are pretty important because everything is made of atoms. Everything in your body, everything in your house, everything on Earth, everything in the entire universe is made of atoms. The next thing and last thing that I want you to do today is go to this website. If you have trouble going to the link, you can do a Google search for P-H-E-T-A-T-O-M and go to the first page. It's, a, it's an atom builder. You get to build your own atoms. So have fun with it, explore, make lots of different kinds of atoms. You can stay there and play as long as you like until it's time for your next class. See you next time.